Now, people keep asking me, how do you innovate? What's the process? Or how does it happen? Well, there is a process, and we're going to go through that process so that you can be more creative and jump your IQ if you're willing to follow this process. So it really starts with the theory. It's uh, a guy named Ilya Prigogine got the Nobel Prize in 1977 for this theory. And what it does is very simple how it works. He talks about anything that's alive has basically, it's like a cell is alive. Anything that takes in energy and lets energy out. So if you take a little cell and you put energy into it like that, uh, energy will come out. But if you overload this and you start to put too much in here, two things could happen. The first one is it could die. The cell could die or the, the, the structure could die. But most of the time, it'll jump to a whole other level. You've got a whole other level and a much more sophisticated thing, which can now handle all that energy before. And, and it's just what happens. You keep doing this as a series of ahas, 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 so that the brain, okay, is only 2% of the whole body volume, yet it takes 20% of the blood flow and oxygen. So it's the classic dissipative structure your brain is. So that what you have to do is overload it for what you know, overload, overload, and then watch it vibrate. Now that vibration is not very comfortable. So there's two parts. And when you get a AM radio, there's two parts. There is the part when you're listening to the, the, the radio, it's, it's tuned in, and that's called phase locking. But there's something that's completely different than that. That's in between the channels, in between the stations. You're going to hear this discordant like that. And that is when it's perturbing. And as it perturbs, it's vibrating. And it vibrates and vibrates and vibrates. And that is where the process of jumping to the next level is. Uh, you have an aha. And, and so you've got to understand you want to spend as much time as you can in this perturbative state when you're working on an issue. If you remember, uh, Archimedes said his aha poem, he was in the tub and all of a sudden he had his aha. It's when it jumped to that next level and he talked about how to figure out if something was pure gold or not. And so it doesn't matter what the issue is, but if you can stay in it. There's a guy named Robert Thatcher. He's a brain scientist. And what he's done is he's done it with an EEG key. He, he takes a look at the brain and he can tell you that the average person stays in this, basically this perturbed space, this 55 milliseconds, what happens is that's average. Now, what was interesting for him was that for every millisecond longer than that 55 second millisecond time, so 55 milliseconds is average. If you get to 56 milliseconds, you can jump your IQ as much as 20 points. So the idea then is, it may seem uncomfortable. You may not quite like it. You're going to feel a little disquieted and, and, and irritated. That is the when you're perturbing your system. And what you want it to do is to jump to the next level. Of course, this is one level. If you want it to go to another level, you again have to overload it. And you add more and more and more. And this part starts vibrating. And this process continues. And then all of a sudden, it'll jump because it can't handle it. Or you'll die, but you probably won't die. So it'll get to the next level of sophistication. So all of a sudden, you've got a much stronger one. This is how I learned to read. I over overrode my system, very frustrated, and I couldn't read very fast. And I was just stayed with this theory, stayed with it, and then bam, one day, it all changed. I could read pages as just fast as I can turn the page because what I'm doing is overloading it, overloading it, overloading it. I didn't die, and all of a sudden, my whole brain jumped to a whole other level. And so what we're saying here is that if you want to be innovative, what you've got to be willing to do is be in that sort of uncomfortable, uneasy place and don't try to get onto the station. If you get onto the station, you're in a phase lock. That's not where creativity comes. Stay in that and get beyond the 55 milliseconds. The longer you can stay in there, the brighter you'll be, the better your innovation will be. So if you follow this process, innovation takes care of itself. I'm sure you felt it. You'll feel it. Your body doesn't like to be there. They, you're thinking about an issue, you can't get it, you can't get it, you can't. That's perturbation. Stay there, stay there, stay there. And bam, eventually it's going to get there. I learned the word comprehensivist from Buckminster Fuller. He was interested in everything. He said the bigger the picture, the more accurate the predictions. So I have done my whole life working towards being the most comprehensive thinker I can be. Because the better my thinking, the better the outcome. What can I do for you?